Bye. Mm. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Um, this is going to be video 772. And uh, probably real short. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, but um, you would think that, you know, once you transition, you, you wouldn't have anything to write about, and you would be wrong. Because <laughs> it ain't over yet. There's still plenty of stuff, to, I guess, to talk about. But um, I want to talk a little bit today, or share my experience, maybe, um, with not necessarily body shaming, because that's not really what it is, but uh, I'm, my brain maybe your brain too, does this little number every once in a while where, you know, um, now I'm 49 years old and in the last year or two, my body naturally has undergone some sort of me metabolic shift, which I almost think maybe, you know, cis women have a menopause and there's like a chemical change in their body when they go through menopause. I don't necessarily know if guys do the same thing. Well, but uh, don't older men used to be that older men would kind of go through a bit of a, a body change and they would lose the testosterone. That's why you always see the commercials <clears throat> for limp dick stuff and everything. You know, get back your energy, reclaim your manhood with testosterone. You know what I mean? It's like, anyway, so, you know, at least when I was growing up, you know, older men, they kind of developed softer skin, you know, more feminine stuff. So, but my brain will do this number where I'll look at myself or I'll think about myself. I don't necessarily even have to look at myself and I start to get depressed because I feel like I don't look feminine. And, you know, maybe mentally, I've not tested this out, I don't know how this is gonna work. Hey, it kinda looks kinda good. Okay, so, you know, a human body figure, okay. And, you know, from a um, MTF point of view, uh, what not, trans woman point of view, you know, if you had like a skinny body and, and whatnot, you know, as your, your body fat redistributes, you know, you're going to get kind of more of a, the traditional hourglass shape, you know, that, that at least my generation always said, you know, the woman has the hourglass figure. Okay. But we know that's just not true. You know, people come in all shapes and sizes. But my brain, I don't know about your brain, but my brain still does a number of me that, you know, oh, you're, you know, you feel less feminine, you're not a woman, blah, 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 because of your body shape. As stupid as that sounds, but you gotta, gotta roll with me here. This is the body, this is my brain abusing me. Okay, self-abuse. And I realized that scientifically, you know, they talk about three different body types, uh, the endomorphic, ectomorphic, and the other, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, you know, that there's three different type of body types, but, um, you know, the women that I work with, um, in my office, for example, um, they're all these skinny little things, okay? And so, you know, uh, when I was living as a man, I was always the biggest, fattest male in the room, okay? I mean, uh, friends that I had, whether they were taller than me, shorter than me, I was always the most obese, rotund, burly, uh, whatever other euphemism you want, stocky, you know, uh, I was always the biggest guy in the room. And so now I'm always the biggest girl in the room. And, um, you know, when I was at work, you know, 
Um, you know, this kind of is the way I look, the way I see myself at work. And, you know, I looked at myself in the, in the mirror and it was like, you know, well, that's not, you know, it's not too far. My ex-wife kind of looks like that a little bit. And, you know, maybe why I wear a skirt all the time, if you look at this picture here, you know, it basically gives me the illusion of an hourglass figure. Okay, I do not have an, an hourglass figure. Let me draw dotted lines here. Okay, underneath. Okay. You know, you can see in the picture or here, you know, I have like a potato body kind of, okay, well, this one here. Whoops, sorry. Everything's reversed in the camera. Um, the dotted lines are like my body, but because I wear the skirt, you know, it gives me kind of the, the illusion of kind of that hourglass shape and then up here, you know, up top, you know, that's that hourglass type look. But it's not really the feminine. Like I said, it's mentally, it's a mental trick here. Um, and so I kind of, you know, I realized what my brain was doing. And I was like, stop it, you know. And it, it really kind of started to get me down. You know, I was getting myself down. And then on the elevator, one day came a girl. Sorry, got to get this backwards. Okay, this body type, okay, with a almost a triangular top, and then on the bottom, kind of narrow, you know, I've ridden the elevator with her a couple times, and what it is is the upper body, because of the breasts, is huge. It's like triangle shaped, okay, the torso. And then she wears these, um, not called capris, but like the tight, tight spandex jeans, leggings, leggings, jeggings, okay. And so she, she like tapers off to a point, you know. And, you know, it's a cis girl, as far as I know. It's an assumption on my part. Shame on me. But it, it just kind of reminded me that women, girls, people come in all shapes and sizes. And with her, um, like I said, she, you could see her hips were there. But the clothes that she wore didn't give her... There, there really wasn't an hourglass shape. It was more like, like I said, like a, an, an inverted pyramid or a triangle. Um, you know, big top, little bottom. And that was the way she chose to dress. You know, I've seen her on a couple different occasions. Sometimes she'll wear jeans. And it's the same, that she, I guess she likes a style, which again, hey, it's America, freedom of, you know. I'm not criticizing her her, st her style. I'm not criticizing her clothes. I'm just saying, whereas for me, where I always wear the skirts to give myself the illusion of an hourglass figure, she does kind of the reverse. She always goes tight on the bottom, you know. And some of the other women that I've noticed at work kind of do the same thing, you know. And maybe that's just women's fashion, you know, as opposed to guys' fashion. At least the fashion that I grew up in. Mm -hmm. I can remember my sister growing up. Always wore the tight jeans. The skinny jeans that she had to wiggle in. You know. You could barely get your foot. You could barely get your foot through the. Uh, through the leg. I'll do a. It like tapered down. And then. She, she would wear, like, a high heel shoe or something. Yeah. Let's 
see. Here we go. So the gene had the really small taper, 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 and barely enough room for her to stick her foot in. And then she wore a high heel shoe, you know, a red high heel shoe. Um, that was my sister's wardrobe in the 80s. Um, so definitely fashion, uh, women's fashion, men's fashion, uh, but also people, people's body shapes come in all shapes and sizes. And it, it was, it, it struck me this time, this week, because both times that I had those feelings that was almost like broadcasting an SOS to the universe. Beep, 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 beep. You know, Robin's feeling sad. Robin's got a pity party of one going on. Um, this girl stepped in the elevator. Triangle girl. Um, supposed to triangle man. Triangle man, triangle man. Doing the things a triangle can. What's he like? It's not important. Triangle man. Um, she got on the elevator and kind of made me realize how full of shit that I was. Even though, like I said, I knew that. My brain knew that. And um, I've made mention before, as far as body sculpting goes, um, I really have lost a lot of whatever <laughs> whatever figure I developed I've lost because of, of not being on the estrogen. My body's recycled. Now, that said, I'm fat. So, you know, I wear a bra and just because I'm piling up fat next to fat, it looks like I have breasts, but I really, you know, I don't have breasts. And... But anyway, I saw a commercial last night for um, a company and it's not called Peepers. That would be funny. Pepper. It was the Pepper bra and it's a bra that's made for women with A, A, A and B uh, cup sizes and she talked about in the video she said yeah you know women uh, designers design bras for women with full cups and she says you know I wanted a bra that was comfortable for a woman um, you know that it was okay to be to not fill up a cup and I think about me and my breasts where I don't fill up a cup you know um, you know that's something that I hope I hope one day I can do, um, let's see here, do me another diagram, yeah, I don't know, it's hard to see, where is it, uh, this is, this is me in profile, you know, it's my body fat that gives me that curve, and I guess what I would want is, I want some droop, you know, not to put too fine a point on it, but, you know. Here we go. My head, sorry. But, you know, I want some droop. I want some, I want some droop. Um, pendulous. Pendulous bosoms, as they say. The poet wrote. Um... You know, so that's kind of my hope for surgery, maybe one day. But I'm I'm not doing anything, um, you know. Uh, and I've started exercising again. I was going to say it's not like I'm exercising, but I am starting to exercise, and I'm taking the um, conjugated linoleic acid CLA, which is breaking down body fat. So I'm losing <laughs> whatever I had gained. Uh, I'm losing. It makes you wonder about women. You know, um, like breast tissue is fatty tissue. And so I guess that makes sense. You know, women who, bodybuilders and whatnot, they lose their breasts because it's body fat. Hmm. I guess there must be a balance. Balance in life. What do you really want? What are you going to get? But anyway, I'm trying to think of anything else that's going on. Nothing comes to mind, um, just one day at a time. And uh, on a side, I, I figured out um, there was a, I, I was never making the money that I thought I would be making. And it turns out that um, the state that I live in, the state of Indiana, uh, doesn't process child support logically. So uh, 
luckily I called the child support office and I had them walk me through the process and share with me how they determine how much money they're going to send me. Um, the court, uh, I'm court ordered to get so much money per month and that differs from what the state uh, does and so um, I guess if I really want to depress it and hire a lawyer and and you know lawyer up and and go to court and or something but I they say you can't fight City Hall anyway now that I know how it works I can plan accordingly and you know so that's a good thing anyway that's it don't want to drone on too long but uh, just want to talk a little bit about body styles and uh, maybe as a postscript to that, you know, it's no surprise that, that we are our worst critics. And there was a um, article that I read one time, I think it was in like People Magazine or Time Magazine, but it was a cycle, it was an article about psychology and how women see themselves versus how other people see them. And it had a photograph of a woman as she was, uh, untouched. And then they did the woman as she sees herself. And then they, they adjusted the picture in Photoshop and whatever. And then they had another one, you know, the woman as her husband sees her. <laughs> and it was just kind of neat to see, you know, the idea that you could have the same person, but just because of under different perceptions, how they appeared. And I can definitely say, I think for trans folk, we we are our harshest critics. And that's why, you know, someone will say, well, I'll never pass. I'll never make it. You know, it's so daunting. And um, especially in the pupa stage when you're just starting out and things are starting to change. You're not there yet. And you don't know how things are going to end up. And we see ourselves and we're like, ah, I look so manly. Or I look so womanly if you're going in the other direction. You just have to wait and see. But anyway. Alright, till next time. Wish you the best of luck. Becoming your authentic self as you define it. And we'll see you around, folks. Cheers.